No way. A second one? Oh, yes. Let's go. It's another jewelry box. Ah, what is that? Oh, money in the dresser. We are back outside of these 10 by 10 pack stores. You know, we bought for $330 with the giant jewelry box inside. There's so much more in here, including the black case we didn't get into last time. Let's go open it up. I'm still thinking about that jewelry box and what could be inside. We already found gold, so there's proof there's gold in this unit. Now, if that's full of gold, whew, let's start with these totes here. Let me get this green one first. Ugh. Once we get to the totes, then we'll get the black case that we found last time and see what's in that one. Set that right here, see what's inside. Oh, I see pictures in another jewelry box already. First tote of the day. Looks like another jewelry box, but no. Dang it, no jewelry in there. That's definitely what it was. This one, looking like a lot of personal stuff. I'm seeing pictures everywhere. Balloons from like a party, probably. So the kind, this kind of personal stuff, we always make sure they get back. See more pictures, certificates, pictures. Pic is that another black box down, or brown box down here? What is this? What is this? No way, a second one? We already found one like that. Give it one second. Let's finish looking through the box first. I think other than that, most of it seems to be just pictures all the way through. Yep, what is that? It's thick. It's, ah, open. These are all certificates and awards, okay. So let's see what's in the first brown box of the day. That looks personal, cards, pictures, folders, not seeing any real monetary value. I think this one's more personal. So again, we'll leave it behind for them to get back. Second gray tote. Ooh, this one's super heavy too. Before I move it though, what's your guess for this? The giant black case, what do you think? Put it in the comment. Put it in the comment. Oh, this is heavy too. Look at that. The nice, is that Dale Earnhardt? No. Uh -huh. Wait, is it? It's number three. Yeah, number three. So, <laughs> man, how did you let me get it right over I know, here? you know what was throwing me off? What, usually, yeah, usually his car is black, but it's a Coca-Cola version. Okay, that's pretty cool. There's some personal pictures. Yep, so is that. Yeah, no, this looks like more race car stuff in here. Let's see. Oh, it's like, there's a pendant. There is another one of those. And this looks like just one of those, you know, color, colored uh, number things. That. So we got us a big old coat here. What do you think's in here? What was that? That was just another picture frame. So is this one, just generic picture frame, with nothing in them yet. Underneath that is some clothes, more Washington Redskin stuff. What's the disc? Walmart pictures. Uh, then underneath that, it's clothes all the way on that side and clothing all the way on this side. Let's go to a purple tote now. I'm kind of stuck. Ugh. That doesn't sound good. That sounds like kitchen. Let's see if my guess is right. Well, it's definitely very empty compared to the others. This is full of glasses like that. And what do we have wrapped up on the side? Is it part of the set? It is, so it's just more glass. I don't know why they use this tote, but it's really only about this much full to begin with, like maybe 30%. Sun just came out in full force, so we're coming in here, so you know, the footage isn't blinding. This tote is like stuck. Ugh. Get out. Okay, let's see what's in this one now. Open up. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, that's another jewelry box, isn't it? Oh, yes, let's go. Oh, I see stuff in it, let's go. All right, so hold on. First, we got a bag here, Liz Claiborne bag. It's kind of used. This right here, nothing in it, unfortunately. Let's see, it's a little zipper. No. This is a book. Is this another wallet? It looks like a wallet. It's got some 7-Eleven cards in it. Woo, 7-Eleven rewards. Gonna save me a dollar, my big gulp. <laughs> nothing in there. Okay, let's get out this beautiful thing. Just some Twilight books underneath of it. What do we got in here? That's just the revolving piece. I see stuff on this side already. See those necklaces? Those are nice. Nothing that looks gold though, so where's the legs on this thing? Down here. All right, so we should probably open the drawers like this. Let's see. Dang it. Dang it. Oh, there it is. Let's pull out a ring here. This is 12K. We got more gold already. 
12 karat ring right there. I'll just put that back in there for now. The other ones don't look real. That's a string. Whoa. That would be a lot of gold right there, but it's too yellow. When you do this long enough, you can point out, you know, what looks like real gold and what looks like fake gold. That's probably fake, but you know what? I can't complain because we already got another jewelry box. So we still haven't even opened the biggest one so far that I can see. Second to last tote in the first pile. Let's see what's in this one right here. Ugh, besides dust. Oh, dolls. Okay, this one says Norway, Norwegian on it. So these from different countries, porcelain collectibles. This one, is that the right head on it? It looks like a completely different head. Look at the head compared <laughs> to the body. Yeah. It definitely looks like it's reattached on there. More porcelain dolls right there. I think I see Barbie down there. Ooh, those personal pictures, isn't it? Yeah. I see more porcelain dolls, but also this one is kind of crushed, but it's an old Barbie doll. Does it have a date on it? Not that I see, but eh, that. And there's more pictures in here. There's more dolls down there. There's some interesting looking ones in here. Let's see if I can pull this one out, for example. It's like a clown, you see it? <laughs> a clown. Let's see if there's anything else interesting looking on the other side of the tote. I'm just trying to be very careful with these things because I know they're easily breakable. Let's pull this one out. Ugh, where's your hair, lady? Look, she lost the top of her head. But yeah, porcelain dolls are one of those things. Some of them are worth nothing because they were produced, you know, mass produced, and some of them are really expensive. So that's definitely a bit of research in there. Last tote of the first pot. Whoa, this one's by far the heaviest tote. Ooh. All right, what do you think it is? Let me see if you're right. Uh, ammo? I wish. It looks like sheets. Why is it so heavy? Ah, uh, there's stuff under it again. See, these people are good at concealing stuff. Oh, what could I see right there? That's a little miniature Bible. Is there something in it? No. It's supposed to have a sapphire in it, but it's not in there. So personal pictures. Per what was that? <laughs> personal pictures. Lots of personal pictures in here that I'll set aside because, again, we'll try to make sure they get them back. Ew. Let's look under here. So many stink bugs in the blanket. That's lovely. Happy Valentine's Day. This is again, I think this whole tote here. Yeah, it is. This is all personal stuff to Wooly behind. Let's get the black case down. Now we saw this last time. It was really making me curious. Is it empty? Don't say it's empty. Don't you tell me this is empty. How do I open this thing? Oh, just like that. If it's empty, I quit. Uh, well. Well, no, 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 there's a stamp. It's not empty, so I guess we can keep going. But is that really it? That is literally it. The black case had nothing but one stamp in it. That sucks. Now let's get into the cardboard boxes and start pulling them down and see what's in these guys. Really light, but let's see. Hopefully it's not close. It looks like flip-flops, actually. Ew. This whole tote is like beach shoes and stuff like that. You see flip-flops, Crocs. We don't want to look at that one. Let's put it down there. Let's go to the second one here. Oh, this one's heavier. Oh, there we go. There's some weight. What's in there? Ooh, my pillow. You know it's true. <laughs> Put it down there. This is, is this new? Yeah, it's still got the paper in it. It's like a brand new camo purse. Not bad there. I'm gonna toss it to our good pile. What else is in here? This, I don't know. Looks like some stuffed animals. I see another box. Ooh, this is heavy here. What's in here? A little miniature jewelry box with one earring in it. You see that? That's kind of strange. I think you twist that. Oh, do you? Oh, I'm a genius, all right? It's a music box is what I meant to say. You didn't hear anything else. <laughs> um, what else is in here? Stuffed animals besides this box on this side. All I see is stuffed animals over there and stuffed animals over here besides this nurses they may not be angels but they're the next best thing let's see what's in the big gray box this one nothing on it oh things remembered isn't that what that logo is i don't know i didn't even know they had a logo i think it's their logo these are usually like stores in the mall that make super personalized stuff so i feel like this is going to be a picture or something of them 
No, uh, yeah, it has their wedding thing on here. Wedding date, wedding names and everything. And it has love in the snow globe. So again, there's something personalized we'll leave behind. Let's get the next cardboard box off here. This one's crazy light. I wonder what's in here. Before I open it, guys, make sure you take a second and leave the video a thumbs up because you help us out a lot. And subscribe if you're new because we're forever buying storage units. Forever. We bought three or four this week. Let's see what's in here. That looks like a curling thing, huh? Yeah. Some 3D glasses. That is a, looks like one of those printer cables, I guess we call them, put that over there. All right, right now, if you get it right, you're cool. Uh, two. Two? Aw. One, you lose. Guess I should get the black bag now from here. Fall, fall, fall. Ugh, okay. I can tell you whatever's in here is all squishy, so it's either clothes or stuffed animals, or even worse, pillows. Meh, well, that's junk. What is this, a heater, you think? Oh, come here, big boy. Oh, it's heavy. It looks like an old heater. What do you think? Yeah, it is. Uh, oh, the plug is about to pull down a whole stock of boxes. Get back up here. It's not your turn. No, 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 it's not your turn yet. Stay. Okay, I'm just listening for now. So let's get the heater out of the way, then we'll go to these boxes, and then we have three more gray totes in a row. Can you see what the side of this box says? For gas island use only? What in the heck does that even mean? No idea. That's like a weird phrase. Open up. Well, it looks like a lot of Christmas. Look at the old John Deere hat with the yellow back. I feel like that could be collectible. I feel like a lot of people collect John Deere everything. This is, well, what is that? This is Christmas balls, but this right here, this looks really interesting. Let's see what that is. Oh, come out, come out, okay. What does it say? Birth certificate? Is that what's in here really? Uh, how do I open it? Oh. Well, if that's what's supposed to be in there, it's not in there because it's empty. But I wonder if this little kit here can be worth something. I've never seen one of those before, have you? No. All right, well definitely keep it in mind. Let's set the box down and get the other cardboard box right here. And then we can start getting into the totes. This one's heavier. Let's see what we got. We need more gold and collectibles. It looks like decor, but that doesn't mean necessarily bad. Let's see what that is. Just a plate. All right, let's set these over here. I see like something wood in there. You see that? The bottom? Right here, yeah, this. I'm wondering if it's, oh, it's another jewelry box. Get out of here. Has that number four or something? Trying to get these books out the way. Garbage. That is another jewelry box. Come to me. Ugh. Look at that. There's nothing in the top part, but the bottom, well, that sucks. I thought it was a jewelry box. It might not be. It might be a music box. Yeah. That could also, I guess, be a jewelry box if you want it to be. Other than that in here, looks like we have a lot of glass, breakable stuff. What is that, for example? I'm trying to not listen to that thing Salt. in the background. Salt. What's there? What's he say? Ooh. What? like chewing apart. Ew. I'm just gonna throw this box away. The first of the three gray totes. Let's see what's inside. It is random. Is that more NASCAR? What is that? Definitely race car, NASCAR. Red skin camo hat. The best things in life are the people we love, places we've been, and memories we made along the way. That is very true. This is just an American flag. Let's see. This looks like a kid's thing, obviously, but still got to open it just in case. Nothing inside there. Ew, it's really dirty down there. I see um, an Elmo. What is this? I guess just for letters and mail. That'd be my guess. Then over here, oh, look at this. This Raggedy Ann. Isn't that what that is? It's like a piggy bank. Yeah, it is. Look at the bottom. Is now. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. If it's not Raggedy Ann, tell me who it is. For some reason, I instantly went to Raggedy Ann. There's a box down here too, look. Let's see what's in there. Oh, is it open? Oh no, this side's locked. Nothing, dang it. Uh, let's see, more boots. There's boots and there's an Elmo and there's some pictures other than that, but hey, that could be old. Second gray tote out of the three. This one feels like, unfortunately, I think it's gonna be closed. Actually, it's stuffed animals. Same kind of thing, fabric. I guess that's nothing special. It's literally just a bunch of like the ones you get on holidays, you know, happy Valentine's Day, they mass produce. That can go there. Let's open. Mm. 
see what that says. X Miss. X Miss. Let's see if that's what it is. But it, it also is. says crafts on the outside. Oh, it does. Oh, there it says crafts over here. It says X Miss. You know what? Let's hope for crafts. It is closed. It's neither. What a troll. Is that really all that's in there? Let's see. What is this? Definitely papers we'll have to skim through. Other than that, it looks like more personal stuff. Maybe from a wedding or something like that. Baby pictures. So it doesn't look like too much. These are composer figurines. I think there's three or four of those in there. So let's open one of them and see what it looks like before we keep going. I'm curious. Open up. Oh, well, look at that. It's like actual, not just, I thought it was just going to be like, you know, a fake composer, not real people. I think there's four of them. They might be worth a little something. That's cool. Never seen it before. Let's start pulling some of these bags down like this one. Looks like it's just holiday stuffed animals and some yarn. There's that. And I guess this one right here, I guess I should pull this down so it doesn't come tumbling. Uh, I didn't expect this to go on for so long. Okay. This one is all sweaters and clothes, unfortunately. We don't want to look at those. <laughs> Wrapping paper right here. This is what I saw in the picture from a distance. A this looked like a rifle top, doesn't it? It looks like it could be a rifle from a distance. Yeah. Now that you're up close, no, not really. And then a bunch of wrapping paper in there. So we don't care for the wrapping paper either. It's dollar stuff. It'll sell at our yard sale, but that's it. This one says school supplies. Let's open it up and see if that's what it is. If it's new, that's cool. If it's all used stuff, it's pretty much worthless. Where is, oh, this one's actually taped. Ugh. One, two. Let's see if that's what this is. Uh, definitely a bunch of crafting stuff. Glue sticks, things like that. This is paper, paper. Unfortunately, what I'm seeing is that it's all used, which means it's pretty much worthless. This box has crock pots on it. It doesn't necessarily mean it's true. So let's see if that's what it is. What does it say here? Bum? Bummer? No idea. Me neither. Ooh, look at that. That's definitely not a crock pot. Check that out. That's definitely pretty nice. Oh, it opens up in the back. Hopefully just to see the, yeah, making sure there wasn't anything hidden in there. You know, you never know. So that's a nice little piece there. What else do we got in here? Wrapped up in here is, what the heck is that? That's really weird, but cool looking. Bottom it says, what does it say? Albert, Albertian? Albertas. Albertas. Okay, if that means anything to anybody, let us know down in the comments for sure. Is it a lot of these kind of dolls? It really is, isn't it? Uh, eh. Oh look, a wooden elephant, but everyone wants the trunk up ones, not the trunk down. So I'll leave them in there. I guess I'll open one more up and we'll see what it is. And we got that, I guess is what the top's supposed to look like. I think it's like a cork in there. So is that the same thing? Yeah, it says something on the bottom. Does anyone recognize that logo? Not too sure. But these things are definitely pretty cool looking. Let's move up here now and get to what these two wooden things are, because I am kind of curious. Ooh, that was heavier than I thought it was going to be. Seems to be a theme in this unit, doesn't it? Uh, bread pan. What do they got in this thing? Ugh. Open. Oh. Ugh. Well. Ugh. Okay. It's dirty and used. And there's a pair of jumper cables in there. So let's see anything else under this. Not really. This one's kind of meh. Um, I think this box right here looks like, and 100% is that whole thing is pillows, curtains, and blankets. That's going to the garbage. We just pulled out this wooden shelf here. It looks like the, both the doors open up and look on the side. It's like compartments for a bunch of little things. And I think, yeah, it does it on both sides. So I don't really know it's actual intended use, but I feel like it's pretty cool and it's got a lot of practical uses. So definitely a cool find. What do you think I should go to next? The giant Lowe's box or the black bag? Black bag. All right, let's keep it simpler. I'm kind of hoping you wouldn't say that because it looks really heavy and it's kind of high up. You know what I think this is? Plastic Tupperware. Good yeah. little, uh, this stuff always gets so much grosser than any other kitchen stuff we find. So like, pick the loser. I guess now, you know what? Now I'm gonna take this one because it seems a lot easier and it's right here. Ooh, look at that thing. What is that? Uh, one of those like jumpers to jump your car without another car. It looks like, hopefully that's in a box. Those are pretty expensive. Just walked this. into a spider web. Oh, don't you love that? 
You have no idea if the spider's chilling in your hair or anything. Yeah, it you. says blankets on it. What? I said thank you for that. I was just letting you know. This says blankets on it, and unfortunately, that is blankets all the way down. My suspicions were right. This is extremely heavy. What's in it? I don't know, but it's scraping the ceiling. <laughs> all right. <sighs> I'm scared. Why? Because I see blankets. Blankets are like mice heaven and storage units. You want to flip through that? Look under. You already done it this thus far. Uh, well, there's some purses in here. Um, pictures. So at least we know it's not all blankets. There's chewed up stuff in there. See what I said? <laughs> uh, what's this? Nothing. Pictures and clothes. But I saw chewed up paper. Oh, what's that? Eevee, Eevee. with a Pokemon hoodie. I'm keeping that. That's the going build over the here. Bear. Yeah, we're keeping Eevee. Uh, what else is in here? A radio and one of those gross like massage thingy. I think people use for like your feet and stuff. I don't know why. It's like a thing in every single storage unit. Do you own one? Because I've never owned one, but I always find them. Always. Let's get down the next one, which is also very heavy. Oh, man. I didn't expect it to be that heavy. It says cloth stuff. What is cloth stuff? You mean cloth stuff. Thank you. That's so descriptive. That's what it is. You could have just put stuff or things or anything more yeah, descriptive. But it's not like, you know, ceramic or glass. It's cloth. Stuff. Oh, thank you. Ugh. Let's see what's inside the box. I bet it's clothes. And I don't know why you couldn't just wrote clothes on there instead of teasing me with cloth stuff. <laughs> what is cloth stuff? Okay. To see. Get out. All the boxes in this unit fight. It's clothes and clothes and it's clothes all the way down is this part of a desk or is this a side table oh, it's a little side table with some drawers in it i'm gonna open it can you stay on the tote politely please uh nothing but I always check inside because there's always stories of like people taping envelopes of money and stuff inside so I always look under the drawers and at the bottom too but unfortunately not but again their furniture at least is like the sturdy wood, not the plywood. So it's definitely sellable. I think I'm now capable of pulling this dresser all the way out, maybe. Oh my gosh, it's either super heavy or it's absolutely loaded full of something. Let's see, what's your plan of attack here? <laughs> you might have to move the boxes first. I'm so impatient. Fine, we'll go through the boxes first. Let's see what this one is right here. Get out. This looks like it's brand new. It says, um pair of backless stool backless stool uh, from big lots what from big lots all right let's see just gotta open it this way i think it's new at least it looks that way it definitely is look so a brand new pair of backless stools we'll probably keep those for our house won't we? now right, we're gonna right, have right. four all from storage <laughs> units free next will be this walmart box which is again so heavy why is everything these people own so heavy Whew. Now it's like before everything was easily rippable. Now it's like they stored everything on the left with the strong tape that doesn't rip that easily because I'm having to manually open them all again. But we're in, let's see. Ooh, this one looks very random. I'm definitely interested. So we got a boot, not interesting. Pads, ah, what is that? That's exactly what you think it is, isn't it? It's got spikes, okay, you know what? It's got on the other side it's a dog toy but when okay. i see that rod shaped <laughs> thing with the two things at the bottom nasty vine we case oh, and look. it's blue yeah, and it's blue hey another one we just ran out the other day and we just found one in the old storage unit now we have another one we've been still living on storage unit candles for a good year now we haven't bought one in forever uh batteries we'll take them um let's see what else is in there we got the salt lamp for you this one's heavy too it's not one of those cheap hollow ones so it was like another one. Two cans. Oh, a third. Yay. Yay. Our whole stock is going to be restocked now. <laughs> yeah. Don't you just love that? I do. Uh, When's the last time we had to buy like paper towels or bags? Not one time this year. <laughs> Definitely end of last year. All right. Now that the dog toy, I feel comfortable reaching my hands in there. Um, peroxide, that jewelry. Mm, looks more like hair things. Yeah. Let's see. I'm not seeing much else inside. No, the rest of it is just bathroom stuff. But hey, I'll take those candles happily. Now let's go to the box. Then we'll get to the blue tote last. There's two boxes. What does that say? Oh, purple something. I don't know. Let's see what's in this box first. Well, that one rips easily. 
this more kitchen it looks like that there's the crock pot i think yep. it was supposed to be the other thing but yeah overall this is more kitchen let's just set it right here and what does that say purple i can't i still can't tell oh purple my. dishes oh don't say that it's so heavy get out Ugh. oh my goodness <laughs> that was the most obnoxious box i want to kick it <laughs> let's see um this one is that's exactly what it is but that probably at least means it's an entire set and not just random pieces like before what's the brand on these guys uh nor to take n-o-r-t-i take if somebody knows if that's good or not definitely let us know in the comments now we can get the blue tote that pretty much fused with that last box dolls let's see if that's what it is uh it looks like it a collector doll what i've always been told is if it says collector or collectible in the box it's not collectible when it's mass produced but just saying let's see what else we see in here little cheerleader bear that's kind of cool the cell phone what's this big long one right here it says mary on it well look at that that's pretty cool and then we got what is this is this once upon a time was a doll it's doll accessories in there. Is that Curious George or just a monkey? Oh. Uh, let's see, this is just, don't these tags have names in them? Yeah. Dangles, it's not Dangles. Curious George, it's just a monkey. <laughs> That's another doll. That's an accessory and it's another doll. So they're actually telling the truth. Let's put them back together and then we can drag out the dresser and see what's inside of that. Turn this around and it's actually broken, look. It doesn't really stay still. So unfortunately it's gonna be garbage even though it's pretty sturdy. Nothing inside. What about this one? Oh, money in the dresser! Woo! It's like a good, I don't know, 40 cents there. I'll take it, I'll take it. That. That one's stuck, but there's nothing in there. Nothing. And lastly, unfortunately nothing. So the whole dresser and what we got out of it was like 43 cents. I guess money's money. This bag, I could tell you from feeling it all the way around. Just close. This one, more of exactly the same all closed Ugh. i guess to the gray tote sure let's see what's inside hey, hey the mario square i'll take this i we had that before i feel like we did i feel like we what's had it inside in of it the um game case room maybe that was a long time ago how do i open it it's getting on my nerves i keep flipping it back and forth the same way and i'm gonna end up ripping it there you go that's what you're <laughs> thank you <laughs> Hey, hey it's all the stuff. The Super Mario hat. This is exactly what was in yeah. there. Yeah. Well, it had the Super Mario hat, the Toad lunch bag, <laughs> the what is that? A little a scarf. A scarf, a Mario coin, <laughs> and crazy. the patches. Hey, that's awesome. Cool. Look, we lost this. Oh yeah. It's a notepad that are all make up a little mystery block. You could see in the game case room that scarf was up above that closet. I'm pretty sure if you go back to our really old videos. Uh, what else is in here? Hey, look, that's a Mario hat, technically. The rest of it, though, looks like dirty shoes. What's that? Classic 100 games. Okay. But other than that, it is just dirty shoes. Another reason I like the unit when I saw the pictures was the audio system boxes up here. Now, obviously, that doesn't mean that's what's in there, but let's find out. It's really light. Uh, there's the box for the speaker. Let's put it down right here. I don't think it's in there. I think I'd be able to tell. Oh. Nope. Yeah, it's empty card. What about to say? I could tell it was way too light. Unless they put both of them in here. Oh, that one's super heavy. Okay, so they might both be in there. You want to see what this is? Yeah. Eagle lamp. I really hope this is in there because these are fairly expensive, like I said earlier. So fingers crossed that's in there. Let's rip this open <coughs> and see what it is. Open. This tape is like super glue right here. It's just refusing to rip. What the heck is that? That's a light, all right. Is it? What kind of light is that? Take it out. It's like a tank? It's a headlight. Oh, okay. It's huge though. Why does it look so much bigger than a normal headlight? If you go compare that to the truck. Uh, okay, you might be right. Now, it looks a lot bigger <laughs> in the box than it does right here, but hey, that's brand new. Let's start pulling boxes from up top here. Oh, it's heavy. Let's see what's inside of it. Is it an HP box? Oh, never mind. It H. sounds rattly. Let's see. Rainbow cards all right whoa i'll give it to brandon those are cool uh that's oh that's a open box oh it's brand new whatever it is that's pictures okay cool i thought it was gonna be a jewelry box again but we'll take that brand new 
We got the little thing that sits on your lap. And some board games. Yossi, Monopoly, the best friendship ender of the world. And the game of life, which most people lose at. Let's get the next little box off here. The Pequena box. I just know Spanish. <laughs> Guys, fun fact, I failed Spanish too miserably in high school. But it's all good. Speak out. And this one looks like it's a bunch of pictures. What's that? Is that a picture? No, it's a things remember, but it just doesn't have anything in it. This box smells good too. There's gotta be a candle in here. Has to be. I know. I feel like there has to this is it. Right here, here's the candle. Boom! Another one. Four candles out of this unit so far. A little used, but okay. Barely. Still burnable. Yeah, it's barely used. Let me open up a few <laughs> more things and see what's inside this one. I love you. <laughs> don't ask me why I said it like that. I don't know. Hey! hey. Yes! There's another one. Yay! We're gonna have so many candles now. Hey, look! Another one. <laughs> and another one. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, I think I got a full wrapped one. Let's see. Yeah! We got yeah. like 10 candles out of this <laughs> unit. I keep all of them. Yay! I don't know why I love keeping the sets of candles. We never sell them, never get rid of them. We always keep them. And all the rest of it is pictures, which again, I think we'll definitely make sure they get back. First, let me see if that's what I think it is. Nope. That's just a little piggy bank. You know what else I noticed in here? As a filing cabinet. That's another thing we find a lot of good stuff in, like jewelry and cash. And we still haven't even opened that jewelry box. I'm so excited. Make sure you come back next time to see what we find. Peace out.